Hi, I'm Paul Chin. I'm a student at UCLA, and I'm currently an intern for Engage LA. I'm interviewing Mark Thomas, who's the senior advisor of livability for LA. Could you please give us some of your background as well as you know some information on FuseCore? Okay, great. Thank you. So FuseCore is a program that takes an outside business person who really hasn't had a chance to work within government, mm -hmm. and it allows them to spend a year taking on a project for a city. I was really modeled after the White House Fellows Program, oh, yeah. uh, founded by <laughs> funders really in Silicon Valley, uh, who are really trying to embed that type of change in the city. Mm -hmm. And so my background uh, uh, matched perfectly because most of my work has been on the outside looking at cities, how do we make right. them more dynamic, how do we make them more attractive from quality of life and economic standpoint. Mm -hmm. And I've done that through forms of media, research, uh, and corporate philanthropy. Sounds great. Okay. So you've done a lot of projects. What are some key findings of these projects? Okay, and so over the last year, as we looked at how do we actually make uh, LA more livable, and it's a, a broad term, and more specifically, we looked at how do we eliminate blight, but also how do we engage the public uh, so that everyone plays a role in, in what people see of the city. And so we particularly looked at how the urbanism had really transformed our population yeah. behavior. Um, and, and once you really look at it from that lens, it makes sense on why certain neighborhoods may not be as clean as others, mm -hmm. why certain areas have changed and we don't have enough trash cans, mm -hmm. uh, why some of our sustainability goals haven't been met because right. the population behaviors have shifted. And we looked at how do we actually uh, align the system so that we actually improve on all of those markers. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, how do we engage the public, whether mm -hmm. it's through business improvement districts, through volunteerism, through neighborhood associations and neighborhood councils so that we have a cleaner city and a more livable city. Yeah, sounds great. So why is it so important for the neighborhood council specifically to read and understand these reports? Well, because the neighborhood councils are really the arm in which people engage with the city mm -hmm. and in a more organized way. And so it allows, when you look at the actual stuff we're covering, these are issues that they're very passionate about. Right. Uh, sustainability, the the quality of their neighborhood, mm -hmm. the city services, all those things matter a lot to the neighborhood councils. And so when looking at this, important for them to understand this is what the city is trying to do mm -hmm. to make sure we make improvement across those issues. Yeah, sounds good. Well, thank you guys for listening and please stay tuned for more from Engage LA.